<laughs> All right, y'all. So I just, I was just outside. Look at it, by the way. It is so gorgeous out here today. I cannot wait to ride. Oh, man, it is gorgeous. Anyway, was checking the mail. Uh, I knew I had some packages on the way, but I didn't think I would be getting another one. I've gotten one earlier today, and now I've gotten this one. So I'm ready to open it up and see what's going on. So I ordered this not too long ago. This is the bottom kit. There is a top kit and a bottom kit. I've done a little bit of research on this and it seems uh, seems pretty legit. And so I definitely wanted to try it out uh, for $145. It's a little bit pricey, um, especially for what it is. I mean, it is literally a throttle lock. I know it says cruise control. Um, but I think the biggest difference between a cruise control and a throttle lock, you are locking the throttle, whereas a cruise control is more ECU and it can maintain your speed. This is just going to maintain the throttle, uh, so your speed may decrease over time. But we'll see, especially going up and down hills, uh, your, th your uh, speed may definitely decrease I'm a good bit when going up because it's only going to hold a constant throttle. But anyway, this is what we got. Pretty excited to get this thing on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and see how this thing All right. Sits. So out of the box, you get a quite a bit of things. So you've got three stickers. You have your tool to tighten down your throttle lock. Um, you have, I'm not sure what those are. And you have a couple of screws, alcohol pad. So you get a lot of stuff with this kit um it's definitely a nice kit and i'd have to say as far as quality of this throttle lock it feels like quality it does not feel like it's gonna break it is a nice piece of metal and it is nicely designed so definitely excited about that so let me figure out how to get this thing on and i'll be right back all right y'all so kind of how this is gonna be installed so as you see i opened up my alcohol wipe um, i wiped the back of the throttle lock I took one of these, which is one of the biggest ones. This is a spacer, and it's gonna help, I guess, actually kind of lock the throttle how you want it. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Anyway, so you're gonna take your lock kit. Now, again, this is the bottom one, so there's, there's also the top one, but you're gonna take your bottom kit. You're gonna fit it somewhere around here. And then you're going to take this piece and you're going to seal it back in uh, to your throttle lock. And then you're going to tighten it down. So I took this out. So how this works is you see the little sharp point right there. And I'm trying to do all this one handed. I'm sorry. So you have a hole for the screw. And I guess I can't focus. And then there's another slot. So you have your screw hole and you have another little slot. That sharp piece, the point. That goes into the little slot. And what you're going to want to do is once you're ready to lock this down onto your handlebar, on this side of the throttle lock, you see all those teeth? Uh, you're probably going to want to put it at the very top tooth. Uh, that way it, this can reach all the way to that little slot. You're going to slide it in and then you're going to lock it down. So let's try to work with that now and uh, see how that works. Right, so very simple, just like I said. Um, I took, let's see if I can picture this. Uh, let's see, there we go. I pretty much put it right there on the top tooth. Brought that around and I clicked it right on in there. I did not have a problem whatsoever. Um, now I'm going to probably put the screw in at the top. So you get two of these. You got to sit it in there. I'm just going to tighten it just very little, just a little. And then I've got, and then I just need to pretty much tighten it down, I believe. So let me try that and see how this works. Alrighty. So this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, very simple install, no problems at all. It looks really good. Um, really liking it so far. So just to kind of recap, let's see here. You see that tab right there? That's what's really gonna hold your throttle. So when I push, This comes up and now it's gonna hold my throttle. I can also kinda, I can also cancel if I need to um, because it's just a little rubber piece, but boom, 
you do need some force to um, go ahead and do um, engage this lock um, that was with the biggest uh, spacer there are some other spacers so if you want one that's a little bit um, smaller you can get it but um, if I'm throttling I can hit that boom and it stays right there so that's that's pretty nice I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that I'm feeling that so I'm definitely interested to see how this is gonna work on the interstate so I'm definitely gonna give it a shot um, maybe either the interstate or somewhere on the city roads I'm gonna see uh, just kind of how that works out. So, all right, just as a side note, so how I have this thing screwed in here, it looks like I could have screwed down even more, but I mean, this thing is so tight and I've noticed that there are teeth um, on this throttle lock. So you may get some marks on the inside of your throttle here where you have this placed. Uh, so that's why I didn't continue to tighten down. I know it's tightened down enough already. And the more you tighten down, the more those teeth are going to clamp into the bike. So I think this is good for now. If I need to loosen it, I will. Um, and just as always, when you have this type of tool, let's see, there we go, a little focus. You can see how the uh, torque teeth look. You just want to make sure you're being careful and not stripping out those teeth. Um, if you strip that out, this thing is going to be a pain in the butt to get off if you ever need to take it off or replace that rubber space. All right, y'all. So again, this is the finished look. Looks great. Loving the black with that accent of chrome. Um, a couple of features to look at. If you're confused at all, this means lock. That means cancel the lock. That's an X. So pretty cool. Liking it. Um, about to take a ride now and just kind of experience it. I'll just have to kind of give you my thoughts on it. Um, I don't have any type of helmet cam or anything like that. So I'm going to ride around and see what I think first impression wise. And uh, I'll let y'all know. All right, y'all. So um, please excuse the orientation. I was not able to change it. Um, I had to get the footage the best way I could. But anyway, as you can see, I did try to I did engage the throttle uh, throttle lock and it did work really well. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed. I actually really, really like it. That spacer, it really holds the throttle really well. And um, a couple things to note is when you are going up a hill that you are going to need to manually throttle a little bit more because it just won't, it's not a true cruise control. So the ECU will not uh, compute in down speed, um, downhill and uphill. Um, also, once you do adjust that manually, you need to kind of keep that in mind because once you've adjusted it, the speed. So if you're if you got a lot more throttle and you're going down a hill or on a flat surface, it's definitely going to keep on going. So just keep those little things in mind and definitely try it out um, on city streets or something like that in a in a neighborhood, something where you can um have a little more control than just the interstate um, first off just that way you can get the hang of it but um i really do like it it's a really nice invention it's a really nice so yeah all right y'all so as you see i gave you a nice long video about how i was using it um it was a little difficult just trying to do one hand but um you did get the point and i I'm telling you right now, I'm definitely liking it. So for 145 bucks, Amazon, and I got it very quickly, uh, very easy install. I am really, really feeling this throttle lock. Um, the only thing to really be concerned about is when you are going up a hill, your throttle position stays the same. So it's not like a cruise control where it will adjust the throttle position for your speed your throttle is just going to stay the same. So you'll actually lose speed as you're going up a hill. But besides that, I'm really, really digging it. And this is going to give you a nice break um, from trying to hold that throttle and trying to maintain your speed on a long trip. So for now, y'all, that is it. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I'm liking it so far. So y'all check it out and stay tuned.